we all die by a yellow something. So we're gonna save, and then we're gonna head on to another uh, timeline. Okay, uh, so I think by this time we should go to this door. So, this one six, we're gonna head through door number two and submarine. And uh, if uh, I was about to say, uh, if we can check the timeline, we can see like how many more endings because we got three. And I think there's supposed to be six. Okay, but, but, but I gotta figure out like th this key. This key is important. So like, I guess we gotta go through here, all through here. Like, cause there's gotta be some key components from going through like these rooms and then going through here. Because I guess well like like it says we got the right key, but like we took the wrong path, I guess. Uh and there leave no one behind. It didn't give us a choice to do anything here. Okay, so let's try to get get to this path. The number two door. Okay. The only door we haven't went through here is number two. So let's My go. My choice is door two. Hey, wait a minute there. You cheating? Cheating? I'm asking if you changed your number after you heard what doors we wanted. How could I do that? I wrote it down on the paper earlier. Let me see that. Sure, here. I had three pieces of paper ready. And I put the one with door six on it into the pot. I just needed to make sure I drew last. After I saw everyone else's result, I just chose whatever door I wanted. If the number I'd already put in matched, then I didn't have to switch the paper out. Well, what does it say? <laughs> you got lucky. Alright, so we know who's going through door two. It'll be me, Lotus, and Junpei. The only problem is the other two teams. June and I want door six. Clover and I choose door one. That's not good. We can't open either of those doors with only two people. Hmm. <sighs> hmm. Why don't Santa and June go into door one with Ace? Huh? Well, then what will you do, Clover? I'll be... Waiting at the stairs. You guys are coming back here, right? That's what Seven was saying, wasn't it? We aren't going to be split up permanently until we find door nine. We might get separated for a little while, but we'll see each other again. Otherwise, we won't be able to open door nine. That's how the notary game works. I'm sorry, but I just want to be by myself for a while. You understand, right? Uh. Uh. All right, I'm going through door one. That all right with you, June? Yes. Well, we'll be going then. Let's move too. Yeah. Right. Let's go. I won't see June for a while, but... But everything is gonna end the same because we're still with... 
Seven and Lotus and Seven said we'd all see each other again, and I'm going to believe that. The other group went to ADAC to go through door one. Clover joined them. Our group is on our way too. We're heading to the bottom deck using the elevators. I wonder what we'll find down there. We ready? Yeah, anytime. I'll go first. Okay, so we're still going through the whole process. Let's go. And that's basically it. <laughs> so once we get through that uh this section, I'll just get to another timeline that we can go through. Okay, so there is that timeline completed. So, basically done every timeline up to this point. So I think now would be best if we go up back to the beginning. To the four and five doors. Take the four door down all the way through here. And then, I but I hope this is the right decision. Once we get through here, we could go through here and go through here maybe. No, by taking the middle path maybe we can get get to here and lock here. That's all I'm guessing. I'm not sure this is the right choice because. I cuz I don't think the flowchart was in the original game. I don't think so because like I believe every time you had to like get every ending you had to restart the game. So uh, before we do that, let's save. Okay, so we have three more endings to go. But there's only two outcomes left. Okay, so let's head on back to here. The four and five doors. And we can just... I thought we were finished with that topic. And just make sure we're going to be taking... The four door. Just gonna skip through everything. Four door. So glad that they had the skip button to this. Yep.
uh, well, let's Earth. do this. Okay, so these are unlocked now. But this one is locked. Oh, okay, so... Kind of confused here. Uh, I need to do. Dang it! Hey, Junpei, you got. Skip through all this. What if we don't take it? Thanks, but no. It's kind of weird to be getting presents from another dude, you know? Well, <laughs> I guess you do have a point. I won't force it on you. Sure you don't want it? Uh. Yeah, I, I don't want it. Why don't you give it to Lotus? Ah, huh. good idea. Will do. Hey, you old bag. I just found the perfect thing for a woman in her 40s. Oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Okay, I locked something here. Uh, I gotta see what, what's up with the like the locks and stuff. Okay, I'm reading online that there is something that involves an ending that I believe we got. Okay, so after we did this, I'm gonna check. Okay, I'm, I gotta check that uh, ending. So we're gonna jump to that ending. Yes, I agree. Actually, wait. So, I... Hey, no, we haven't gotten that ending. I am so confused right now. Uh, because, like I said, this is my first time playing through this version of the game, and, uh, I'm I'm very confused right now. Let's jump back here and I want to see something. I thought we were finished with that topic. Going to skip through this. I'm going to choose 4. I'll see if if it unlocks anything okay well, once we get through uh get through this section i'm gonna see if it will because i'm very confused okay that's still locked okay let's go through the number five door okay so there we go okay so now this part I will jump to here, to the large hospital room. It's one. I better. Huh? 
case that continues on down through here. So now, so I'm guessing like that this is the right part to get through here and get, but some, uh, yeah, I gotta go through here. So I gotta get all the keys. But apparently there's two keys in here. In the escape room. So gonna go down here so we can go through the number eight door. Go through door eight. I, I, I think I'm gonna go with door eight. Okay, eight it is. Yeah. All right, Ben. That means June's gotta go through seven. What? Why? Okay, now it unlocks. Door eight. We're gonna get go through here now. The laboratory. This computer locker. So I'm guessing we didn't get the key for the laboratory, but we got one for the computer, but not the lock. Got the we didn't get the key for the laboratory locker, but we got. Uh. Uh, I don't wanna I wish there was a skeleton for all this Dare me to get that. No. No. Okay, I'm, I'm, I might need, need to select it. Maybe gotta do the computer first. Okay, so then now we can do this. One of these has, to, yeah, there we go. Okay. Come on. 
that there must be a decision that I didn't make here. What kind of job do you have? What are you? I'm unemployed at the moment. I used to work for a cybersecurity firm, but I quit. Okay, so this is we didn't get this Why? before. Huh? Oh. Um it was just I see. Hmm. Oh, uh, what are you doing now? I'm going to try and brute force it. Brute what? A brute force attack is... Well, the short version is that I just attacked the thing head on. The long version? It was still don't have it. A brute force attack is one of the simplest ways to break a cipher. It checks every possible combination until it finds the right one. For a complex cipher, it can take a very long time. I'm writing a program that would run an attack like that on its own. It's not the most elegant solution, certainly. But given the circumstances, there isn't much else I can do. Oh, but back to what we were talking about earlier. What were we talking about? The wireless display. It's kind of strange if you think about it, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> How do I put it? Well, let's say you write a program that calculates an addition problem for you, all right? Yeah, we did not get so this cutscene before. So you enter one plus one. The screen will show you too. See? Isn't that strange? Uh, no. Not really. Oh, come on now. Of course a caveman like you would think it was strange. You said so just a minute ago. Hmm? You're just not getting it, are you? Who calculated one plus one? Uh, uh, the, the main computer, right? You said it connected to the monitor wirelessly. Yeah, but someone who grew up in a cave wouldn't know that, right? They probably think that this thing here, the monitor, is doing the calculating. And once they've decided that, they'll start examining this monitor. They might poke the screen or something. Ah, I see the color changes when I press it here. Then they might investigate the hardware on the inside. Oh, I see. So this wire supplies the power. Eventually, they might even cut the wires. Ah, yes. Just as I expected. When this wire is cut, no results appear. Therefore, it must be this device which does the calculations. Oh. But the truth is that, just like you said, the computer is doing the calculating. But these cave people wouldn't know that. Because they have no idea that the monitor and the computer are connected wirelessly. So, uh, what are you trying to say? Nothing, really. It's just... I thought, maybe... But what if the relationship between human beings and our brains is like that? Huh? Well, let's say you stick a bunch of electrodes into parts of the brain. A scientist examining the signals they send out might say, Hmm, interesting. So stimulating this part of the brain causes the person to see colors. That must mean this neuron cluster controls that function. Okay, let's see what happens when I cut out this part. Ah, just what I thought. Cutting off this part causes that function to cease. Therefore, human thought processes must occur in the human brain. See? Doesn't it sound the same? Mmm, uh... Maybe the brain is just an output device, like this monitor. Maybe our thought processes actually occur somewhere else, in a main body. We just don't know it. We never even think about it. Just like those cave people wouldn't know about wireless communications. We can't imagine that there's some unknown medium that transfers information into our brains, where we experience that information as thoughts. Um. The brain is just an output device. Human thought actually occurs somewhere else. <laughs> That's just crazy talk. Maybe that's the cause of Seven's amnesia. If memory is actually stored somewhere else, in some sort of main body somewhere, maybe he hasn't forgotten anything at all. He's just having a difficult time accessing his memories because the monitor, his brain, has been damaged. Huh. 
I suppose that would explain aphasia and blindsight, too. Perhaps they actually can't speak or see. The monitor just isn't functioning properly. Hmm. I guess people with prosopagnosia could be suffering from the same thing. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Prosopag... what? What? You've never heard of prosopagnosia? No. What is it? Well, put simply, it means a condition where the mind can't distinguish between human faces. In other words, my face would look the same as Clover's or even yours. So they can't remember faces, which is how most people recognize each other. That means that people with prosopagnosia have trouble recognizing even people they're close to. Usually they can make do by associating people with other things. Their voices, their clothes, their hair. Does that mean other people's faces look like... blanks? No. No, I don't think so. Well, you've seen monkeys, like in a zoo, right? To you and me, all the monkey faces look the same. Even though they've obviously got faces, it's almost impossible for a human to distinguish between them. The zoo staff that works with them will learn to identify different monkeys eventually. But you or I couldn't, unless one had a scar or something else to set it apart. Well, that's how people would be to someone with prosopagnosia. Prosopagnosia? Huh. I didn't even know that kind of thing existed. And, um, uh, what were we talking about? The idea that your brain is just an output device, like a monitor. Are you serious about that stuff? Not really. I was just kidding for about half of it. What about the other half? Well, I guess I was just adulting. Mm hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Not funny. <laughs> it's nothing more than a story I made up out of boredom. Take it seriously. It was the first thing that came to mind, and I just talked about it to kill time. But, looks like I don't need to talk anymore. Why? I don't have to kill time any longer. Oh, then you finished that brute whatever thing? I certainly did. And let's see what we got. <laughs> Piece of cake. The screen changed again. What the hell is that? Hmm. No idea. Looks like a puzzle. Huh? Uh, aren't you gonna, I don't know, do more computer stuff? No, I can't do anymore. It won't let me do any more programming. See? The keyboard. Nothing. Okay. Well, that, that was a lot of new stuff. Okay, so we, we unlock that one now. Actually, now that we did that, let's go to the locker. Hey, Junpei, oh. do you have a minute? What's up? I, um, I wanted to ask you something. Okay, so this one's new. Hmm? Junpei... You went into door five with my brother, right? Did you hear him say, like, anything weird? Huh? Well, let me think. Uh, good, Sorry, we're getting Clover. new stuff. I can't really think of anything. I mean, he did mention that his hearing exceeds that of a regular person, or something like that, but that's about it. Okay. Uh, hey, uh, wait a minute. Hmm? Look, I, I don't know if I should ask you things, but... If you don't mind, uh, I was hoping you could tell me if... Uh, is Snake, uh, I mean, was he born... You're talking about his eyes? Yeah. 
No, he wasn't born blind. When he was a kid, he got in an accident. A really bad car accident. He couldn't see after that. And his arm. His arm? Yeah. My brother's left arm is... Um, it's not like a normal person's arm. A prosthetic, a prosthetic then. It's fake. It's not a real arm. The accident hurt him really bad. To save him, they... They had to cut off his arm. Oh. <laughs> uh. Is that all you wanted to ask me? Look, I'm I, I'm sorry for making you talk about all that painful stuff. It's not that. 